Hey guys, Mastodon here, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Ion and how awesome and fun it is to use. It flies like your typical Crusader ship. The Ion comes with 20 size 3 missiles and a size 7 cannon repeater that just shreds everything it comes in contact with. It takes a bit of practice and patience learning how to line up your shots. The 20 missiles are great for knocking out your smaller ships, which tend to give you the hardest time when you're in the ion. When doing group ERTs, I always take out the Hurricanes first, because they can be difficult to hit with your cannon. The Valkyries and your Wardens are pretty simple to take out once you learn how to position and aim your ship. Just like with most ships, guys, you're going to leave the Hammerhead for last. Like I was saying earlier, the Hurricane I'm going to go for first, and then I'm going to take out the Warden, and then we'll turn back around and go for the Hammerhead. It's actually a pretty simple way here to take out the Hammerhead without taking damage, and then there's another simple way with taking some damage, and you're going to have to away and away and recharge your shields. So this right here is the first way of going up against the hammerheads with the ion. Kind of got me wondering if the small profile kind of gives the hammerhead a hard time hitting the ion because it's so slim. But when you're circling around like this, it has a hard time hitting you with its turrets. It does end up getting you, but if you keep doing these passes, eventually you're gonna you're gonna win this battle. So this is when I backed away, took my shields down, and then this is the second way that you can take out the hammerheads. Uh, you can line up 2,500 meters, or as little as like 1,700 meters, and the turrets won't be able to hit you. So if the hammerhead stands still, you can just sit there and lay shots into, the, into their ship. But if it comes at you, you can just go in reverse and just keep that distance uh, 1,700 meters or greater, and the turrets won't be able to hit you. And you'll see here how much damage the Psi-7 cannon does to these hammerheads.
All right, YouTube. This kind of wraps up the Ares Ion. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. It helps get the video out to others. And subscribe if you haven't already. It truly means a lot to me. I'm inching closer to my goal. I stream a couple times a week here on YouTube as well. And would love to have you join in and chat. As always, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. And see you next time.